Three Miami-Dade corrections officers are under arrest right now, accused of beating an inmate to death. Today, they're facing a judge. Local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly is live in Miami with what happened in court. Trent. The, the incident itself happening back in February. Those guards, though, were just arrested by authorities yesterday morning on several charges, the most serious being second degree murder. As a result, all three appeared before a judge in bond court earlier this morning. Let's take you now to some video from that court appearance. 34 year old Kirk Walton, 29 year old Christopher Rolone, and 24 year old Ronald Connor are all charged in the deadly beating of 60 year old Dade correctional inmate Ronald Jean. Ingram. Ingram's body, we know, was found inside a transport van back in February. According to prosecutors, the guards beat Ingram to death after he allegedly threw urine on one of the officers while being transported to a different facility. An autopsy later showed Ingram died from a punctured lung. Now, in court today, attorneys for one of the guards challenged those charges, saying there's really no proof that his client caused the injury that later led to Ingram's death. Take a listen to what he had to say to the judge. There's just no allegation here within the four corners of this probable cause affidavit that anything that Mr. Walton did was with a depraved mind that could have caused the type of damage. There's no allegation that, that any of the strikes he had could have caused the damage that would show a depraved mind knowing that serious bodily injury or death would occur. Now, in the end, though, Judge Mindy Glazer did find probable cause for all of the charges against all three defendants. Those include that second degree murder charge, as well as an aggravated battery and conspiracy charges. As a result, all three guards are now being held in jail on no bond pending the outcome of another court hearing. By the way, the state attorney's office is set to hold a news conference later this afternoon to discuss these arrests further. We, of course, will be there. And we'll let you know what happens. For now, that is the latest live from Miami. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.